Hi everyone and a special hello to you that's watching this video. Okay, I know I said that little baby girls got enough clothes now. But that was until I started making some clothes for a little brother. And then I decided but I was making some denims for him. But then I said to myself, but what is a girl without a jeans? So obviously this little baby needs some jeans. So I'm going to make her some jeans, denim pants. And um, I will that I will show you also as well. Okay, and that's um, I have a clothes here because I've I've changed it a little bit on a clothes. Okay, like in the first video, I you saw the nappies. I made the nappies, and there is a video a tutorial for how to make a nappies. Um, so we made a little vest in the beginning and my, some baby grows. Okay, I didn't change anything on this baby grows here and with the vest. But here with this two baby grows here, this one was just too plain for me, it was one color. So I found at a, at a local craft shop, I found this little, little small little um, pom-poms. So then I decided, okay, that's actually perfect for a beanie because what is a beanie without a, a pom-pom? So I put one on, a white one on this little hat here and then I put one, a pink one on this little hat just with some water glue i place it down and um i put a little pink one on this one here so um i'm gonna see if you can see that okay and then with this little outfit i changed a little bit on the jacket because it was also too plain for me so i put um i have this little um buttons it's little small little buttons and um which i used on the hats for um, the outfits but now I put it on the jacket as well and I cut like a little slit in the jacket so it can really open and close um, on this jacket like so it works really works and um, then of course on the black by the black one because of all the black and it's a little baby I didn't I wasn't too happy about anything so um, on a little jacket I put um, just two orange flowers the same I put on the, the dress here. Yeah, I just put two little orange flowers on, on a jacket just to put a little bit color in the in a little jacket. And then I changed the little shoe. I did something else with foam, but I will show you how to do this. It's just basically the same pattern as for the little shoes. Um just with a little bit extra, but I will I'm going to show you that now. And then this little um hoodie of her, I changed okay it was black again but i only had little well this little orange and then purple and then obviously black and purple wouldn't fit by the yellow for me so i just put a, a little um, black flower here on just to put us a bit of some color or some something in the little hoodie doesn't do that. so you can't be so plain and also a little pom-pom on the hat side and then this um, I will rather show you on the purple one. I just took a normal uh, um, crochet yarn and um, I just work it through, um, thread it through where I worked around for the little hat. I just thread it through so you can pull the string and make a little bow. So it's more like a, a hoodie for me with this string. So I put it white in here and then I put some yellow in. Um, this one yeah, I could have well as well put some black in here as well but yeah with the yellow it's fine and to think all of this clothing for this little baby came out of this little simple pattern I will put a link here um, up in the corner to show you where um, you can then you can go to that link and you will see how I made this little pattern for the baby and if you watch a video till the end you will see the playlist of all the little clothes I made for this little baby already but the baby she, she came with this little outfit and I thought to myself well there's something she can actually wear in the winter but it's so short sleeved so then I made it just I used the same simple like this shirts yeah you, like I said you will see that in the playlist um, I just make one plain white long sleeve shirt she can wear underneath this little um, outfit and then I also used to make a little another beanie hat for her. I just used the the rims the side of the rib side of the 
um, secret socks um, of, the, of the white part. So I make a little hat and I put a little white pom pom on top of that and also just a little bit of sequins there. And I just all put more of hot glue. And then I, that's where the shoe comes in. I will show you now how to make this little shoe that I made previously for her, but with the sole. I'm going to show you now. Now, um, in the previous video, because I know the video cut out after a while when I was busy making the little shoe, so this time hopefully it won't happen again. So you just use any, um, like a small little pole, this pole containers, tablet containers, um, like this one where a, a, a foot fits perfectly inside a little um, container. That is my the best way I've tried many ways to make shoes for her, but because the feet is so small, it just didn't work. So yeah, you put the little feet so you can see it fits per perfectly inside the container. And just take a little a scissor and to try to cut it as close as possible to the rim of the little container. Cut all around all that off. Okay, so as you can see, everything is cut off now and you can still see her foot fits perfectly inside of this container. So the, in this case, I just used a little a piece of some of um, felt and um, you just fold it in half, cut the little, in the middle of the little um, half circle out of that, just for the, the fit comes to a leg, just in a circle out, and then you put the foot inside a little container underneath for the sole, and then <laughs> it's so small, so difficult. This side you put on top and you try and stress it as stiff as you can around the foot and the container and don't forget around the ankle after the heel as well. And you just hold it there, open it up and then you use some hot glue and please be careful with the hot glue so you don't burn yourself. I know I've burned myself a lot of times. So just put it little bit of glue on the sole here and by the ankle or oh, the heel again and just immediately while it's still hot you just press down on it some more of your nails just to shape it around the container until it's fairly, fairly cold and you just take a little foot off oh, just get a glue of a foot and then again you just take it and you cut it just as close as possible with your scissor around where you pressed it down with your nails Okay, so there is a little shoe like this little um, pink ones I made. That's that's the shoe there. But then, okay, so you put it back on her foot again. See, it fits nicely on her foot, so you can leave it like that if you want. Or what I did here now with this one, I just used this little this foam, and then underneath her foot. Um, I put again some hot glue on the sole part, try to put it on the whole sole part of her foot and quickly while I don't come this hot, just press it down on this um, foam and keep it there until it's also fairly cold, luckily hot glue cools off quickly. Okay, just make sure it's all around the foot and you can take the foot out again and then again you just cut as close as possible around the shoe to cut it for a foam. Ugh. 
you just make sure underneath so it just look nice and round all the square parts of it. And there you go, there's a little shoe. Perfect little shoe for this baby. I love the shoes actually so much. <laughs> it's too cute. Okay, so I'm going to put the outfit on now and I will show you with a new outfit. And there's our little baby with her outfit. So she's got a long sleeve outfit a long sleeve um, shirt underneath her, this little outfit and with her little pink shoes she's got on and a little beanie hat so yeah there's another outfit for this little baby so um, now I'm going to make uh, some jeans and so I'm going to use our old faithful pattern again for this little jeans so I just saw my use an old Jean of mine from the pocket part. Um, make sure the stretchy side is sideways, inside. And then you put your pattern on there. I'm going to make the pattern a little bit longer um, by the arms because I'm going to want, obviously, to put the little seam inside. So I'm going to put a little pin on there just to keep it in place. And then, as usual, just draw with your pen around um, the pattern. this here again so it can keep it in the same place and like I said I'm just gonna make this a bit longer because I want to put the, the seam on top and by the legs so um, there this I think that would be fine okay so there's our little pattern now finished and um, for this uh, um, denims I think it's best because we're going to put little seams in and then the smaller the, the item is, the, the, the more difficult it is to put the seam in. So I'm going to just first put the seam on the one side of the um, of the, of the pants. Um, like I say, you can hand sew it or do it with your machine. I'm sorry, but I'm going to do it with my machine just on the one side here. So I'm quickly going over to my machine and do that. Okay, so I first just did the one side, so now I'm going to cut it there. Um, I'm going to cut the top as well, so let's just get this thick part off here. Cut that straight down. Uh, off. And then the side that you already sewn, just like I always say, not too close to the sewing, otherwise you're going to, so you're going to just fray again. And then by the feet, just cut straight through also so after you cut it now and um, just press this a bit down by the seam and this that's why I say with this mask of us that we use don't throw it away when you finish because this little elastic band is perfect for the doll's clothes I'm going to use that elastic on the um, bands so um, then you just fold this uh, a hem, a little bit of a hem here, around by the top part, and I'm gonna sew then this um, elastic band on that. I'm gonna use a zigzag stitch. Like I said, so you can uh, hand use stitch as well, but just remember to stretch the bit when you do that. That's why I'm so I'm gonna use my machine. On a zigzag stitch just quickly going over to my machine again okay and there's our little elastic band so now you can just fold it back again 
and then rather just pin it down again with a pin and you can work the rest on the um, lines just to remember to keep here by the feet open um, for a little feet and just just put a line in the middle there it's all sewn and then you just cut off the excess material i thought of putting a hem inside underneath but i'm going to leave that i think that's going to be too difficult and just cut it through there in the middle just not be, just be careful not to cut it too close there you are and just make this track on the lines and hopefully this is going to work so just in the inside out and give it a quick iron and then we'll see if this will fit for our little baby here you go our little girl with a little denim that fits it perfectly um you see perfect and i make a little shirt just the same as i made all the other shirts with um the secret socks with the little unicorns on on them so i made it like you see there that one of the unicorns will stand out obviously the one with the purple hair now so i made it on the same principle like this one remember i um with the, if i used the secret socks at the fray i just burn it with a, a lighter and then there's a little girl with a little new outfit i hope you enjoy this video and please give it a thumbs up if you like it press that thumbs up button and um then underneath on the other side subscribe to my channel and please share this video share it to all your friends and family um anyone you think would like anything about doll stuff so yeah this is my hobby this is my retirement hobby as i can say and i really enjoy every moment of this um my channel is not just about um making clothes for um dolls it's all also about my doll home it's actually about my doll family that i have um so yeah i'm busy some videos is about the, the home i'm making their home um dollhouse and then clothes for the family and furniture and all that stuff so yeah please subscribe to my channel and you will see all the videos about that and then until next time bye